Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing our WWE Week in Review. Yeah. Um, a lot of wrestling over these last few weeks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Yep. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, I had even more. Well, you, oh, yeah. You well, said... Yeah, we had the Impact Wrestling pay-per-view yeah. last Sunday. Yeah. And then, you know, two more shows during the week that I watched, so... A lot of wrestling. It's crazy, man. Had the greatest Royal Rumble in there. Random crap on a Friday. Yeah. Five hours long. I was going to say it was really long, too. And then Backlash this Sunday. Yup. It's the first ever co-branded pay-per-view. Okay, Michael Cole. Despite the fact that the greatest Royal Rumble, while it wasn't a pay-per-view, it was a network special, was co-branded. Yeah. Um, WrestleMania, which happened less than a month ago. Co-branded. Co-branded. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. the only thing I'm going to say about this past week's, well, SmackDown and Raw, uh-huh. thank God it was in Canada. They were very loud. Yes. and Very vocal. Yeah, and that that's what I think helped Raw a lot. Like, I mean, it wasn't an overall bad show. No. I thought it was decent, but the was, crowd was The reactions fantastic. for uh, Owens and Zayn in particular mm-hmm. were pretty good. I mean, on SmackDown, they were pretty quiet for the most part, but... There wasn't a whole lot of... Uh, it was promos after promos yeah, after promos. And I was just like, what is this crap? Yeah. Was, came was, to watch wrestling. It was well, technically, like, I'm in the wrong place if I came to watch wrestling. Yeah, because SmackDown this is sports is not entertainment. The, well, I guess that is true, yeah. I was going to say, also, SmackDown doesn't really have that many matches. but It's the wrestling show. Yeah. yeah. Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles. Daniel Samoa, Bryan was a lot of wrestling. Samoa Joe. Even though he uh, wrestled uh, Nakamura... In, in the, the dark, dark match, match? yes, and he say. got low blowed, <laughs> right in the balls. Yeah, so I guess uh, Samoa was a face now. No, I said wrestle Shinsuke. Daniel Bryan wrestled Shinsuke. Oh, <laughs> you said Samoa Joe, and then you said, uh, oh, oh, even I got gotcha. you. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. That was the last name you had said. That Fair makes enough. more sense. Fair enough. Makes yes. a lot more. No, sense. no, no, no. Yes. I was actually about to say, Joe hasn't done anything since he came back. No, he wrestled... Oh, yeah, uh, he was in that ladder match. Yeah. Uh, he wrestled uh, Big Kalista, Sin Cara. Oh, yeah, that was his first... Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, on SmackDown. I yep. forgot about that. Yep. Because yep. that was when he debuted. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yep. So, uh, Raw, we'll start with that. It happened. Uh, uh, cr- chronologically, it was the first one to It's true. Occur. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so Roman comes out. And he says that... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Roman comes out to a chorus of booze. Yes, they were, they were, they very, were loud. very, very loud. They were very, very loud. Yes. yes. Imagine if he came out with the Universal Championship. It's true. Probably would have been even louder. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, he says that despite the referee's bad call, mm-hmm. that he should be the Universal Champion. And Just... then they said something about the referee posting on and Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that he made a mistake and blah blah blah. So, so what are we translating? You know, politics and wrestling. You know, we just uh, type on Twitter and that's what goes. Yeah, you know? why not? So hey, whatever. Yeah, it was. You know, whatever. And then uh, he said, "I'm going to win it eventually." Like yep. you said the last time. So then we're um, like, "Oh, great! Here we go. Yeah, still going to happen." Um, what I have heard is that Brock's next, I mean, probably match will be at Money in the Bank. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, oh, you know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, that means that yeah. whoever wins the money in the gonna bank is going to cash in on Reigns when he wins. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah. That has to be what happens. Also, apparently... That's what happened last uh, two years ago, right? No, Seth won. Oh, Seth won. Oh, right, because Roman, Roman had it. Seth beat him. Mm-hmm. Dean cashed in on yeah. him, yeah. Um, But there was, I guess, speculation, mm-hmm. and or at least it makes sense, with uh, Brock being the one to beat CM Punk's record for the mm, yeah for the, the I guess the current WWE championship record different belt but it doesn't matter. Well, but it's still called the WWE championship. Yeah, that's how it's yeah. because obviously like Bruno had the longest reign at for the WWF WWF yeah, I think that's right. Um championship. So with this current incarnation of the belt, I guess that one that they officially started in like the 90s or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, CM Punk has the longest yeah, record yeah, yeah, of just no, over yeah. a year. Um, I guess they want Brock to beat that record. Yes. I, I figured that Roman was going to be the one to do it. So maybe what they're going to do is they're going to have Roman uh, shadow Brock. Maybe. So Brock's going to do something, then Roman's going to do it. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. Because, you know, he did it with The Undertaker. I don't know. It's just... 
It's not even that. It's the, the whole. It's not even that the whole dumb. Roman like like I get why, that people don't like him and everything, but mm-hmm. I mean he's not even shoved down our throat. It's just terrible booking. That's really what it comes down to. Well, it feels too. I don't know. It, it, it just doesn't make it, sense. The, like like there's so many things you could do with him that true. could get over with the fans, it's but true. we're not gonna explore any of those options. Well, yeah, we gotta we gotta put him with Brock Lesnar, the. Because they're just trying to make him look strong, right. but at the and now same... we got him with Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but in all fairness, it's not like he like hogged the spotlight in that match. Oh, no, no, no. He was, all. if anything, he was kind of like the enhancement talent during that match. Him and Lashley. Lashley took a good beating. Too. Well, but I'm just, I'm just saying he was there. I got you. Um, yeah, for Strowman to make well, the hot take. A good man. example is the match that happened last night with the with um, the women. Mm. And uh, the oh yeah, yeah. it was the that, same yeah. exact concept. Yeah, that's true. Where it was Charlotte and Becky were trying their hardest to take down the fearsome team. Oh right, and the Oscar, of the yeah. worst wrestlers on the main roster. Man, <laughs> that's the thing. And I was I was almost getting <laughs> so not, not arguing with Christine about it, but I was like, I don't know what they've really booked themselves in a corner here with yeah. things. Uh-huh. What are you, what are you gonna have? Car- you have to have Carmella retain. Otherwise, they- what are you, Charlotte's gonna. Win the title back, and what are we going to get? Peyton Royce versus her, Billy Kay versus yeah, her, Carmella. I mean, um, it just, it yeah, just no, doesn't make sense. Yeah, but, it's the only thing that makes um, sense. But it's funny because there's really no way to do it. Yeah. Unless you literally have, like, flat out. Because we know the other two are going to end up showing up at yeah. ringside. It's going to be the Riot Squad all it's, over It's again. going to be a flat out Peyton Royce and Billy Kay interfere in the match blatantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not going to be. They and and a disqualification, not yeah. not a. Like, we really went off on it. I know, here. but I, I, you in in all it fairness, was, it, you it, distracted it was, me. Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. Uh, fine. Um, we were talking but, about the end yeah, of SmackDown. No, because and it was off. Becky and Charlotte trying their hardest to take down the bad team. Yeah, and Oscar came in and saved the day. That's, true. That's exactly what mm-hmm. happened with Braun. Where, and I know this is a weird comparison mm-hmm. having Bobby Lashley and Roman Reigns with Becky and Charlotte. Because Becky and Charlotte are technically two of the yeah, but, best wrestlers. Becky's a top woman. Roman is a top guy. Both weird booked. Doesn't make I guess sense. that's true. That's true. Matches that Becky should have won. She didn't win. Things yeah, like that. You know, it's but it, it's a it's a even comparison. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess you're so. taking the hot commodity mm-hmm. and making them look super good. Right. Because in in I guess on top of their already kind of established teammates. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. Oh my! Hand. It's completely one-sided. I know it was in, in both cases. No, yeah, yeah, it was no, that's what I'm good, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no reason for. And now we get the same thing at Backlash. Oh yeah, he's gonna destroy Braun, him. Braun and Lashley yeah. versus Bobby's gonna be in the match for the first half. Yeah, and then he's gonna finally tag in Braun, mm-hmm. absolutely destroy those yep. two, and then they're gonna win. Yeah. That's exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if this is on the pre-show. Oh, it's just such. We a... still have a cruiserweight title match. We do. I think. I, I thought, don't think so. I could have sworn they were doing something with the Cruiserweight title. I have no idea. Yeah, I thought... Was I it? didn't watch 205 oh, no, no, that was, last night. It was the week before. That, that was, was the, for uh, at the greatest, greatest Royal Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. So, unless Kalisto's getting a rematch for no reason. Because no, he lost pretty well, fair. I know Buddy start. Murphy came back last night. So, yeah. I don't know if they're doing something there. Maybe, I don't know. That's what I, I had know. heard. I don't yeah. know if it's true. Doesn't matter. We'll check it when we do our predictions. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll know for sure. It's true. But I don't even know where we were. We well, obviously we're in the beginning we were on of the first <laughs> line still. Um, so, well, we don't have to go through it. No, 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 no. So anyway, uh, Jinder comes out. Uh, he says that he wants to face Roman yeah. or something like mm-hmm. that. He gets booed too. Yeah, because he complains that he's in the same boat because Jeff cheated as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, even yeah. though obviously he didn't cheat. You saw him miss that whisper in the wind. <laughs> uh, to be fair. That that one match was probably the match that I paid the least Decent, attention yeah. to during the, the pay per view yeah. or the event, yeah. Um, because it I didn't care. I knew Jeff was gonna win, mm-hmm. so it was not really that important. Um, but he claims Jeff cheated. Obviously, that's not true. Um, <laughs> chance of you both suck, <laughs> which is becoming more and more popular mm-hmm. nowadays. Yep. Then we got Sammy Zayn coming out, yeah. and oh, what a huge, reaction! Huge yeah. pop for uh, Mister Zayn. They love him there, apparently. Yes. started speaking in French. This was Coach dealing was... with a case of vertigo, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I didn't know about the whole... Um, Syrian, yeah. yeah. But I didn't really put the two together because I was watching. I forgot Kevin Owens was but supposed I... to be in it, too. When he came out, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. He Right. 
Yeah. Um, so but was, I mean, they they at least played that off well because Sammy was selling it last week. Oh yeah, he so, looked well. They yeah, they he, did it. They made it very easy by having right, him get right, destroyed right, by right. Braun. And if you don't follow the product outside yeah. of what you watch on television, it, it would have made sense. Yeah. Um. So. Like, cause like I said, I didn't even think of that mm -hmm. when he wasn't there. I was like, eh, yeah. yeah, I guess today just didn't put him on the mm -hmm. thing. Granted, when you think of all the other people that were in the match, it kind of doesn't make a whole lot Did, of sense. Apparently, uh, I think it was Arya Davari. He was apparently getting death threats yes. and everything. You heard about that? Yeah, Jeez, I heard about that. Man. Whew. And then one of the wrestlers or one of the prospects that were in the ring mm -hmm. tweeted out something like. Adults should know what the entertainment difference. is. Oh, oh, really? I didn't this, see that. They, he, they should know the difference between entertainment and reality. Apparently you know, not. Well, you know. It's still real to me. Yeah, well. I... In, in, in somewhat fairness, it's not like these people are, are accustomed to, to right. yeah, wrestling. Absolutely. So. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. It's still. It's still crazy. Yeah. Granted, you know, there's a lot of crazy things going on nowadays yeah. that you would never have thought were going to happen. It's true. But what are you, you getting into? We're not going to get into that. Mm -mm. So um, Zane comes out, huge reaction, starts yes. speaking French. Coach is losing his mind. Um, Has he gotten worse and worse every week? He gets worse and worse every week. People love him. He's horrible. I, I, I don't it's get nostalgia. It. I guess. Uh, but then other people are like, he was terrible on Sports Center too. I don't know what's wrong with you people. Yeah, he wasn't, for me, he wasn't yeah. bad on Sports Center. But I didn't see a... him very much. Mm -hmm. But from what I did see, he was pretty good. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Oh, uh, Zane comes out, then Owens comes out, does mm -hmm. the, pretty much the same, same exact yeah. thing. He's speaking in French too. Um. You got a Wii chant going. <laughs> yes. Instead of the <laughs> yes good. chant. Yes. It was pretty cool. No, yeah, yeah. It, it was I great. It. No, it was a fantastic opening yeah. segment for... Kevin and Sammy. Um, so the three heels are in the ring with... Um, Did with... the announcers say anything about them, you know, the whole crowd being different because they were in a different atmosphere? Nope. No. I thought they... Nope. I thought somebody had brought up that they did say I that. I don't but... think so. Because I, I, I agree. Yeah. I this heard... would have been the time the... No, I heard that. Oh, that somebody said that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but it wasn't... You didn't notice it. It wasn't Michael Cole or Corey mm -hmm. Graves. It was yeah. not on commentary. It was probably, probably. some kind of, like... Mm -hmm like other video or whatever i gotcha um so, so the three of them in the ring mm -hmm. and roman's ready to fight any of them Ginger's like oh i'm gonna fight you and then sam is like no i should and then owens did I, that kind of happened as they were coming out right um and then kevin owens decides to take it to a van boat mm -hmm. and apparently uh not many people want to see Ginger fight roman which even is though he not, is canadian yeah we're, which is funny. Um, I don't we, know what part of Canada he's from, though. So. Calgary. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter. No. Canadian is Canadian. Hey. For from <laughs> for what this, I can yes. tell. From what I can tell. Mm. In terms of appreciation. Well, that, that was one thing I did notice, is you really didn't have any Canadian wrestlers on SmackDown. It's true. I. Th or yeah. that was showcased, anyway. Yeah, because... Because Natalia got a huge reaction on Raw. Yeah, well... I think Ty's Canadian, yeah. but he wasn't on TV. Come on. Um, Bobby Roode's Canadian. He was on Raw. Raw. Um, obviously, Owens and Zane. Mm -hmm. It was mostly Raw. Yeah, I don't I don't really think yeah. there's many. Mm -mm. Anyway. Yeah. Unless, like, someone from the New Day is Canadian. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I know it's a terrible joke, but anyway. Um, event, uh, Owens gets the, wins the fan vote. Um, so Roman, he walks up to Roman, Roman punches him in the face, mm -hmm. and then he gets attacked by the other two. Yes. Um, so they're beating up, beating up on Roman. Bobby Lashley comes out, literally does nothing. He just gets beat up because there's the numbers game going on there because three is better than two, despite the fact that the two of them, well, despite the fact that Roman was able to take on the club yeah. by himself. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, you remember that? Yeah. Who <laughs> I would say or probably should be a little more physically opposing than gender sammy and owens maybe not owens but yeah. with bobby lashley yeah I the guess two of true. them yeah but then Fair braun enough. comes in and settles the score oh you gotta um so i knew it was gonna be him i actually got a little excited when i saw it was him because <laughs> i love braun he's the best i don't need to know about you getting excited over a big sweaty man i Vince. really can't wait until the um i know it came out on monday the oh the ride along with yeah. him and bliss yeah, yeah that should be good very excited we'll about have to watch that. that after um but yeah, yeah Braun that, comes in, kills everybody. Mm -hmm. Segment over. Yeah. Um, so up next, we got a rematch from last week with Elias versus Bobby Roode. 
I didn't think it was that bad. It just went on and on. It was on really long and for on. no reason. I was like, why is this match so long? Because they were trying to sell, uh, I guess, Rude's, Rude's weakening throat. And then he throws, well, the match <laughs> ended after Elias, uh, Rude was on the apron and Elias ran him into the turnbuckle chest toast first. and the connector there yeah. chest first and then he starts grabbing his neck yep it's like oh it looks like he hit him in the neck uh, yeah. and then they and then show, they, they show the replay and it's, it's just clearly like, <laughs> like down here is where he like, makes oh, come contact. on guys come on and then Corey graves is in the process of saying his throat mm-hmm. and then after they show the replay oh maybe it was lower than that yeah his chest yeah. yeah it's funny because instant replay very much like the other sports is really killing wrestling yeah because I know they've had it for a very long time, but they've mm-hmm. been doing a really bad job of yeah. picking what What's, to show and mm-hmm. what not to show. I mean, granted, it's on the fly, but still. You gotta... y- yeah, but, you know, it's, well, not like, it's not like it's immediate. Yeah. They have time to look at what happened. It's true. But so. There's also a problem sometimes with their jumping back and forth between angles constantly. Yeah, it's true. Because uh, like it's almost sometimes it's almost like what's the point in having a hard cam when you just keep jumping back and forth, back and forth, back and remember forth. Remember SmackDown's moving camera? Yeah. That wasn't bad, mm-hmm. but it was different. Yeah, it felt weird. Uh, um, but yeah, then Elias announces himself the winner as I guess Bobby Roode was being attended to yeah, by I referees he, and medical staff and yeah. all that nonsense. Um, JoJo looked very disappointed. <laughs> she like looked at him like all annoyed. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I expected something to come with this, like a match at the pay per view, which I really didn't care for. Are you talking about Elias and Bobby Roode? Yeah. That would be the pre show. Yeah, match. that would be. But um, All right. So uh, after that, we got the Authors of Pain versus some local talent. Mm-hmm. Was it Jean Paul and Pierre? Yeah, something like that. No, it wasn't Pierre. Jean Paul was one of them. Yes. I don't remember what the other one was. Um, so they get a little like interview before the match yep. in Gorilla. Yeah, cause, and the yeah the authors of pain were already in the ring at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, authors of pain, you know, they beat him up. Oh yeah. Obviously, they were going to do. Um, and after the match, they actually spoke. They didn't say much, but they actually spoke. No. Um. I don't even remember what they said. It's funny because in NXT they were kind of booked to be like not English speaking. Yeah. So the fact that they came up to the main roster and now all of a sudden... Obviously, they don't have a mouthpiece anymore. It's true. So it kind of makes sense, but mm-hmm. it's still strange. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yep. It was not that important. No. This is... this. I mean, they decimated Raw's tag team division. It's true. We got, like, <laughs> tag matches, but not actual tag teams. Yeah. So. Weird. Eh. Whatever. Whatever. Yep. And we had Seth Rollins come out next. And uh, Canada loves some Seth Rollins, some Monday Night Rollins. Well, in all fairness, he's very popular to begin with. So. Still, still should be the face of the company. Um, or up there anyway. Yeah, he should be higher than he is. Yeah, I think Finn should also be higher than he is. Yeah, Finn's, they just don't know what the hell they're doing. No, but I'll tell you what, Smiley Finn, it's really... It's weird. Yeah, it's very And strange. I noticed, like... You know how all of his pictures looks? He looks super fat, his face. Yeah. It's just the weird angles of his beard, yeah. the way he cuts yeah. it. And I'm just like, wow, that thing's super thick. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah, no, Finn kind of comes out, and he, I'm sorry, <laughs> Seth comes out, and he basically says that, well, obviously the crowd kind of got the best of him because yeah. he was really happy to be, um, I guess, that well-liked by the crowd. Yeah. He was um, saying something about his schedule defending the Intercontinental mm-hmm. Championship. Going from South, South Africa, Africa to St. Louis or whatever, then to Saudi Arabia and yep. so on and so forth. Now to but, Canada. Yep. So basically he said that he claims the Intercontinental Championship as the most important belt on Monday Night Raw. It's not wrong. No, absolutely not. So, We've been saying that for a while. Yeah. Because The Miz did good things with it. Mm-hmm. Now, the fact that it went on Seth definitely, the, I wouldn't say necessarily helps, but it continues mm-hmm. the momentum yeah like it didn't need building so no. it's not like oh, so, so. it didn't go up or down it stayed no, yeah. it stayed up i guess or whatever mm-hmm. um, i think that's how it's going to continue as well especially if it gets passed between him and finn right because as long as you don't give it to someone stupid like elias hey he doesn't need a belt watch your mouth he doesn't need a belt win money in the bank he, no he's not you are <laughs> so wrong he's not even going to be in the match all right i'm sorry i hit a sore spot yeah no because I'm afraid you might be right. Not about the winning. <laughs> he just might be in the match. He shouldn't be. But oh, anyway, man. so 
the, if then Finn comes out, right? Yeah, because yeah, he, uh, he wants to challenge Seth for the title. Yeah, because he's, you know, he's basically this close to winning the title. Yeah. And he got it, smacked in true. the face with the belt and it's true. went he was everywhere. Not wrong. He was not wrong. Because, yeah, that's when I was watching the match, and I was like, when did Finn get busted over? And then I see him pull the belt down and just smacks him in the face with the strap, and I was yeah. like, that'll do it. Yeah, so. That'll do it. Yeah. And then we get uh, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel come out. And they were awkwardly walking out holding their shirts. I was like, what, what, is, what is going on? Do they not have buttons or something? They don't want to give it away. And then well, <laughs> they open their shirts, and it's a picture of or the four of them with great. their heads. It was good. They're going to sell like, that shirt. We're going to be the new four horsemen. So <laughs> it was it was a white shirt, right, with their pictures. Like, yeah, Finn, Seth, Bo, there. and Curtis's face is all on there. Yeah. Yeah. It was so, good. Yeah, it was good stuff. Um, so they suggest a new four horsemen. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be a hard no for me, guys. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and would would they put their hands out? like? A, well, no, I think they did that when they asked, and then Seth said no. no and, and then Finn point, pushed his, yeah. their hands down like yeah. he did and, with the two sweets. And then uh, then they attacked them, but mm. obviously they're able to fend them off easily. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then then Finn hits Seth after with, mm-hmm. I don't remember what that yeah, was It was like called. the inverted DDT or yeah, whatever. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so Finn gets the upper hand with the big old smile on his face. Yep. Yep. Um, Which is fine. Up next, we have Charlie interviewing Sasha Banks, mm-hmm. asking if Bailey will be in her corner against the Riot Squad. Sasha says that me and Bailey aren't friends anymore. Yeah. And she won't even talk to me, blah, blah, blah. Um, Completely useless. Pretty much. Yeah, because we're not going to pull the trigger on anything. So, what's the point in. Yeah, doing this. They should have done this. Well, here, here's the ago. point. They're going to pull the trigger and nobody's going to be interested in it. Yeah, it's true. Because at this it's point, simple. it's not really. Yep. Um, all right. And so then we, we got, got Sasha uh, versus first, Ruby. Yeah. Um, I mean, of course, all of the Riot Squad was out at ringside. And they got. I mean, there was a decent match between the two of them. Um, oh, yeah, Ruby it wasn't Riot's bad. a good wrestler. Yeah. So, and uh, Sasha is as well. Yeah. But she was able to, Sasha, that is, fend off mo- the Riot Squad for the most part. Mm-hmm. And then. They didn't get too involved until no the end. toward the end yeah. yeah and then the numbers game obviously yeah. played a part uh, what did Ruby hit a riot kick when Sasha was on like the apron right no she was on the top oh rope. she was on the t- oh that's right yes yeah because then... I think she kicked uh, Sarah Logan off the apron mm-hmm. and uh, with the distraction right Ruby hit a riot kick onto her while she was on top rope yep falls down. And, and she it. gets pinned. And that was that. So mm-hmm. it, it was. It wasn't bad. No. So because it made Sasha look good while still losing. Right. So yeah. No, absolutely. But you know, here we go again. It's they just. Yeah, it's the same old stuff. Oh, what they're doing. It's the same. Th- same exact thing. Just different people. <clears throat> yeah. Exact. Exact. So yeah, exactly. whatever. Um, Speaking just the of title, the same. Well, title wasn't involved this time, like it was on SmackDown. I guess that's true. Yeah. All right, so speaking of the same old thing. This wasn't bad. This one was better I than... Tell, like I said, last week's wasn't bad. Yeah. It's just the fact that they've been doing it for right. a month now. Yeah, yeah. this was, uh, I guess, another bl- moment, uh, moment of, of bliss. bliss. Yes. Fantastic. And so Alexa was complaining, I guess, about a time her and Nia Jax went to Disneyland or Disney World. Or it doesn't Disney, matter. Yeah, and uh, Nia was constantly making fun of her because of her height yep. and saying that she couldn't get on the ride. Is, is she tall enough, enough to go well, on the adult ride? Yeah, and then they saw something about a teacup ride, yeah, and Alexa was like, it's a teacup. It doesn't do anything. It's, it's just for children. in the cup. Yeah. <laughs> like it was, she was she like, plays them off oh, really well. She's so good. She, it's very sincere, that's, yeah, which that's... is great. So, again, the topic is terrible, but the, the uh, but this presentation is, is fantastic. But this is more like oh, yeah, this one dumb. was yeah yeah well yeah yeah but the presentation's great because yeah. she's so good at thing like stuff like this mm-hmm. so but. yep <sighs> all right oh uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so before this moment they had been building up titus o'neill's trip during the royal rumble into underneath the the, uh, the ring which honestly the momentum that man has i guess when he runs he flew like at least 10 feet for after he fell. I mean, he's so lucky the LED board wasn't there. That and the fact that... Well, did you see the the pole? Oh, yeah. He was, like, next to I it. I know. Or the fact that there wasn't ladders under the ring? Yeah, it's he true. had the ladder match earlier on in the evening. It's like true. It, it was just, like, one of those strange yeah. things where it was like, holy shit, that could have been really, really and Michael bad. Cole and Corey Graves were just laughing about dying. it. Michael Cole, apparently, that was the greatest Royal Rumble moment ever. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, like, losing it. And Vince was very... 
very tickled by this. I'm sure he was. Kevin, play it back again. I played it a lot. <laughs> and in all fairness, you didn't see it when it happened. No, no, yeah, because you just saw Titus run down, yeah. and all of a sudden, you're like, who the hell did Titus get <laughs> It was definitely funny. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, yeah. So they make a big stink about it. Mm -hmm. They actually probably mentioned it several times yep. before this. Uh, so Titus gets interviewed by Renee Young. Yeah. He started to play it off like it was all planned, right? Yeah, and, and then, he, he did a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, made, he, he owned it, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people probably yeah. be embarrassed. Yeah, because then he started to laugh, and he was like, nah, it was an accident, and I fell. Yeah. Oh, um, and, and then Baron Corbin comes over and interrupts. He says something. I honestly don't even remember what he said. It wasn't important. Baron or he Corbin. said, like, oh, no, no, he said something. Titus said, yeah, what happens if we trip? We still get back up or something like that. Uh -huh. and, Baron said something about you should have just stayed down. I think to that. End. Oh no! If if you were going to be a role model or something right. like that, you, you never would have tripped trip, in the first. Place. Yeah, I guess that, that's, that's what, it what it was. Okay. Yeah. Um. Up next, we have Matt Hardy showing off his Photoshop skills because he just placed pictures of him and Bray. In oh, like that was fantastic! Event. Yes, yes, yes. There was their pictures were in the reflection of the shot from when they land on the moon. Mm -hmm. They had some like historic like England. Yeah, they shots weren't even and... really good superimposed shots. No, but, they, but it was good. It was funny. It was yeah, because it was made to look like Matt and Matt and Bray had been around for traveled everywhere. Yeah. yeah, so it it was funny. Even though weren't they in different vessels, so to speak? <sighs> Come on now. I guess it's too Come hard to now. keep up with this You're crap. Too much about this. <laughs> um. Uh, so yeah, they they do this. Mm. They talk a little bit. They're. They are in charge of the Raw tag team division yeah, now. And that was it. And yeah, nothing's been established. I guess they're not defending those titles. How many tag teams to defend I guess that's games. true, but I guess... Well, are we just going to build up the Authors of Pain to eventually take the titles off them, and they'll be the new Brock Lesnar's and just have nobody to defend it against? That'd be horrible. You took every team pretty much off. It's true. Unless maybe they're finally going to pull a plug on the Fashion Police. I don't know. Not pull a plug. Pull the uh, trigger. trigger? Yeah. Pull a plug would mean that they're doing what they're doing now. <laughs> they were on, uh, I think, main event this week. Would make sense. They I think so. Was Mike, Ken Mike Kanellis actually made main event, too. Wow. So that was good for him. I think yeah. he, I think he wrestled Zack Ryder. Yeah, he right. didn't break the record, right? Is that what you're going to yeah, say? During yeah, during the Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah. So at least he's been doing something. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, to be fair, the guy was off TV for what? Months. Months, yeah. Yeah. Because he had wild. to go and make get his wife pregnant. <laughs> he had to go and it's do It's so that. funny you that know it was an very, accident? very clear that the only reason why he got hired was because of her. Yeah, so absolutely. It's, it's so Which, it's, it's funny, but it's a shame because he's a good wrestler, and he, he did make a name for himself in New Japan. And Not Ring good enough, and, apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. And TNA, but yeah, what are you going to do? It's true. Uh, up next, we have the uh, tag match that we actually probably talked a good amount oh, about yeah. earlier. Mm -hmm. Um which is Owen, Zayn, and Jinder versus Roman, Braun, and Bobby Lashley. Yeah. Um, Braun kills everybody towards the end of the so, match. Uh, I love the fact that he's still doing the shoulder tackles on the outside. Uh, Owen's almost died. Yeah. That was so funny. And the way that he plays it off is so good. Because he looked, like, stunned. Mm -hmm. Like, he couldn't, like, move. It was great. Yep. <clears throat> so That's what the whole match is just going to be Sunday. Is Braun yeah. just constantly yeah. doing it. So, but yeah, it was, it was fun. It was ex exactly as we expected. Well, I mean, here, to go. here's the thing. You got to think of how big of a reaction that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn had on Monday mm -hmm. and Braun got the win and there was still a semi reaction. Like yeah. there wasn't, you know, everybody pissed off or something no, like because that. because everyone loves Braun. It's true. If Roman had been the one to pin somebody, oh, all hell would have broken it. loose. Yeah. So it, it was good. They, they obviously make, anytime they have Braun win, it's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so... Yeah. But it was a fun match. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Bobby Lashley looks terrible. Not in his performance, but the way they booked him it thus far. It doesn't make sense. Well, he almost killed Cass in the Greatest Royal Rumble. But still. <laughs> right, because I think the Brain Buster is banned from WWE movies. Well, I they believe. did mention that he did it. Yeah, he so did I it feel because like, he dropped him. Yeah, I feel like maybe... <laughs> well, Cass is a big guy. Uh, yeah. Probably He's a lot bigger awkward than... awkward guy. Yeah. Well, he's very thin and yeah. tall. Yeah. Um, I would imagine that Bobby Lashley is probably not used to picking up people his size. That would be my yeah, guess. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, because it was funny because he was like, oh, that suplex, he turned into a brain buster, mm -hmm. I think Corey said. Yeah. So, but I feel like if it was a big deal, they wouldn't have mentioned it. Yeah, I guess that, that's true. Yeah. Um, anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
But yeah, Bobby Lashley just doesn't, they just haven't been portraying him to look very good. Well, I feel like they brought him in and they're like, oh, we don't know what to do with this yeah, guy. Because well, I think they originally wanted to have him feud with Lesnar, Lesnar yeah. after and Lesnar got, dropped the belt. That got thrown yeah, out Yeah, because the they window. weren't going to put him in the universal title picture. Right. No, especially no. if Roman was still chasing. Right. So, <clears throat> but yeah, now he's kind of in limbo. Yeah. They probably it, shouldn't have even had him debut. Probably Or not. put him on SmackDown instead. It doesn't make sense as a face, really, either. I guess. I don't know. Was he ever a heel? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was times when he I was. do yeah. not remember his WWE tenure, so. All I know is that he. they were very disappointed, or mm-hmm. the fans were very disappointed in what they got out of him, so. Yeah. Well. That's it. Yeah. But he that's did go away and made a name for himself. Oh, uh, that's so, true. Yeah. He was, he was legitimate. Yeah, yeah Absolutely. Um, so up next we have Baron Corbin versus No Way Jose. Remember when I predicted something? With this? Yep. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Wait, what? <laughs> no Way Jose becoming the newest member of Titus oh, Worldwide. <laughs> it's fair. It, it's, it's not. I did say that. Yeah, it's true. I remember now. Yeah. Uh, so Corbin comes out and he says he's gonna put an end to all the nonsense. This was fun, though. <laughs> It was enjoyable, yeah. at least. Well, it, it was stupid, it, it, but yeah. it was enjoyable. Yeah. So, um, and then No Way Jose kind of comes out with his clowns. Mm-hmm. Um, Baron Corbin pretty much controls the whole match. Oh yeah. And then Titus Worldwide's music hits. Mm-hmm. Then the Corbin's th- just staring at them, yeah. basically. The three of them are dancing on the apron. Mm-hmm. Not on the apron, on the on the, the ramp, uh, on the ramp. Yeah. And then they come down. And Titus starts pretending like he's gonna run down, and then Dana and. Uh, Apollo start. What do they clean it up or something? Well, uh, tight, uh, Apollo is making sure that the ground wasn't slippery. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes. He makes it. He doesn't fall. Mm-hmm. And then he goes on the apron and he goes to go into go in the, the ring, ring and, and then he just falls. very clearly <laughs> oh, makes yeah, himself yeah, fall yeah, yeah. down onto the floor. Mm-hmm. And at this point, uh, Jose uh, rolls Rolled. up Baron for mm-hmm. the win. Yeah. So it was pretty. And funny. Then all of them celebrate up yep. the ramp. So. Yeah. So. It, it, it's definitely possible, mm-hmm. or or it's just a vehicle to get Baron Corbin yeah. versus Titus. I guess so. Yeah. Well, I think Jose was kind of just a coincidence. Oh, yeah, coincidence, yeah, 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 But just... Uh, That's true. So. I'm surprised we didn't get Jinder versus uh, No Way Jose after what had happened last week. Remember when Jinder was being interviewed? Oh, and then yeah. <laughs> started... And then, the honestly, the most memorable part of that was the fact the screw the up. audio yeah. thing. That's but. fair. <laughs> anyway. That's fair. Yep. We've got Mickey versus Natalia. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say Alexa was in Mickey's the, corner, was, and yeah, Ronda, Ronda was was yeah. in Natalia's. Yeah, this was just kind of throwaway match. I know, but it was funny the way it ended because I guess Bliss had tried to get involved in the match, right? And then and Ronda, Ronda just starts chasing, chasing her yep. around the ring. Mm-hmm. She did like three rela- three right. laps. Yeah, 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 awesome. Yeah, and then uh, when Natalia rolled up Mickey James in the ring, yeah, because right? Mickey was, was wasn't I guess was trying to figure out what was going on yeah. on the outside. It would have made sense for the heels to go over here, right? Um, well, because Nia Jax came out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because after the match, Nia came out and chased, chased Alexa some yeah. more. Yeah. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It just. So. Oh yeah, there is a okay. It's it's Nia versus um, Alexa. Yeah. So there's no yeah. other women's matches probably going on. On from Raw, no. Yeah. Because yeah. it's probably just the two title matches. That's mm-hmm. probably what pay per views are going to be from now on. I would assume so. Which kind of sucks because now you're not going to have like these stories. Yeah. Well, so. Yeah. Who knows what their plan is with some of this stuff? Because they've been doing a lot of like stretches in terms of like what is considered mm-hmm. like uh, a feasible storyline. Yeah. Right. Right. Um. And but now they can't really do that anymore, which is good for TV. It's but good, yeah. for pay per views. Yeah, because I mean, as long as they finish stuff out on TV, because that's the problem. Is you have things true. that go on TV and they just kind of fizzle out. Nothing. You yeah. never get an ending to it. Yeah. I mean, true. granted, everything generally builds to a pay per view match that ends the feud or whatever. Yeah. But if it's important enough, I guess they'll put. Yeah, it on I guess pay-per-view. that's true. Pre show. Yeah. <laughs> well, it yeah. depends. I guess that's true. Yeah. If it's if it's a women's match, probably pretty sure. Hell, we don't even know what's going to main event this pay-per-view. Could be Joe and Roman Reigns. Yeah, it probably will be. It should be. It should be the WWE title match. Yeah, you would think that, yeah. but it's probably going to yeah, be Joe exactly. and Reigns. Yep. Um, all right. So uh, up next, we have a uh, phone promo mm-hmm. from uh, McIntyre and Ziggler. Yeah. Um, oh, I guess they're even they're a tag team, right? So. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So the pretty much the moral of the story is that uh ziggler says they're not just there they're not gonna just steal the show they're gonna take the show yeah um 
they could be the first team to take on I guess uh, Matt and Bray, which not a good idea. No, because I don't. Because if they do, they'll probably win. I so assume you, so. Because you don't really want them to lose to Matt and Bray, right? And at the same time, you don't want Matt and Bray to fizzle out so quickly. Because you really you shouldn't have those two with the titles. They should be doing like side feuds, something. But whatever. I mean, honestly, they should just do something with them and the fashion police. That would make that, sense. That would, yeah, it, like that would be a good. Or you have first, the ascension too. They, they uh, <laughs> the fashion place would be a good first feud yeah. for them because it's lighthearted. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know they're gonna win. But they're supposed to be faces. Doesn't matter. I guess it really. The fashion doesn't. police go up against anybody. That's true. They, well, they don't go up against anybody, but they interact with mm-hmm. anybody. That's, and that's all you really need to do with them to. Yeah. Because obviously they're gonna have some fashion tickets. So, I w- I wouldn't be surprised if they're already coming up with the way they want to do it. Hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Just something. Wanna... Yeah, exactly. And then we All got right. the main event. Yes, Balor uh, versus Seth Rollins. This is I a good mean, match. These man. guys could wrestle all the time, and yeah. I'd be fine with it. So, and they actually have a reason to, which is nice. Mm-hmm. It's not very often that they have matches no. that are like important. No, and the, the crowd was hot for this too. Yeah, it was a good match. Yeah, um, a lot of fun. It really looked like Finn was going to go over. Yeah. I'm and and it was in the main event, and that's mm-hmm. usually yeah an indication that something's gonna happen. Yeah, but, but it was just a clean nothing. win by Seth yep. with the stomp after uh, a couple of attempts at the coup de gras. But yeah, and he then was Finn not kept, successful. Yeah, Finn kept rolling him up after he went for the stomp and stuff like that. It was a yeah, good transition. It a, yeah, 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 it was very good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, but yeah, it was a good way to end Raw. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely like seeing these two as opposed to having like the Miz fight matches. Because the, a the quality is a yeah, lot better. Absolutely. So while the Miz was fun mm-hmm. as champion, it's the quality of the the wrestling is definitely a lot higher now. Yeah. Obviously. So yeah, For that was rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it wasn't bad. It was just it wasn't nothing. Not a whole. Not a whole. No, lot everything on. was kind of solidified. They they just kind of booked themselves in a weird spot it's here also with the greatest a, Royal Rumble, yeah. and then it's also a go home show, which is yeah. kind of hard to mm-hmm. to I guess. Not understand, but kind of hard to like think it is because of the fact yeah. that we just came off right. of something. Mm-hmm. So, because you have event, go home show, event. Right. So, yeah, no, absolutely. So, yeah. But yeah, that was rough. Yep. So, on to SmackDown. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Paige opens watching Shane McMahon get thrown into the announce table, mm-hmm. which is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> landed perfectly, too. It's a so, good spot. So, she, she goes, Shane will not be here tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, and saying, and then she said something about uh, how AJ and Shinsuke both cheated, kind of, yeah. I guess, in their matches at the Gross Royal. Well, Rumble. Shinsuke hit the low blow, and I guess AJ just kept beating him up after the yeah. match, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, they both they both so, got themselves. Before we go any further, we didn't see Kurt Angle on Raw, did we? We did not. Yeah, he's probably still embarrassed from getting thrown over the ropes by Elias. Maybe Elias did bring up the fact he that did. he eliminated he them. Did. In the... Um. <laughs> And, anyway. and there was very, this was it for Paige and oh and the interaction no, was, with Absolution yeah, that was, was about one it more, yeah yeah but it wasn't over the top no no yeah. uh, hopefully they're learning because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it really seemed like they were kind of getting it towards the end but they <laughs> at since they weren't sure if Shane was going to be around and the thing with Daniel Bryan returning right yeah I guess it was kind of it's true kind of hard to continue what they were doing it's true um anyway mm-hmm. uh she says that wwe title match at backlash will now be no disqualification which actually could be a reason why uh, it could that could make it the main event though since it's no mm-hmm. DQ match. Yes. Uh, i don't know it's hard to tell it's t- it should be hands down it should but, be you know. but you don't know with them no because raw's main event is technically Samoa Joe versus Roman. Right, yeah. And usually they'll take the Raw main event over the SmackDown main it's event. It's true, yeah. We'll figure it. We'll yeah. See. So uh, up next, or I guess to officially open the show, yeah, we, we have Miss TV. Yeah. I didn't think this was very good. It was all right. It's just, it was such a cluster. Well. And you didn't have very, I don't know. Well, there was a lot it, of things. It was going. just thrown together. Yeah. It's like we only did this segment to give us a match tonight. And you had. Two people who didn't really care what was going on. One person who shouldn't be allowed to talk. And The Miz. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. So so The Miz comes out. He says that, I'm going to start off with this. Since Danny Bryan decided not to show up last week, he's no longer allowed on Miz TV. Mm-hmm. Um, which I'm sure Danny Bryan didn't really care about. 
Um, so, and then he goes on to say that I'm coming back for my IC title. I'm going to bring in SmackDown. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he welcomes his guest, Jeff Hardy. Mm-hmm. So, and he sits down with Jeff for a minute and talks about the whole nonsense between him and Randy Orton. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, I have a surprise guest as well, and it's Randy Orton. Yeah. And I don't understand. Everybody loves Randy Orton. He, he doesn't seem to care about what he does. Oh, I know, but I just, I, I don't get it. I don't no, I'm just saying, like, he, he's, I think the RKO is what That's really what like. it is. It? Yeah, I guess so. Because, I mean, in Saudi Arabia, they went crazy. Yeah. Canada crazy. Me going, oh Yeah. Well we were, we know we knew this. Oh was yeah, yeah, no, so absolutely. But surprise. I was just like ah. So Randy Orton cuts off the Miz's introduction to him. Mm-hmm. The Miz is not very happy about this. No. Randy doesn't care. Nope. Um, <laughs> he clearly showed he didn't yeah. care. He said he didn't care. Yeah. So um he goes on he he's like, Don't you don't you like hate Jeff Hardy for having that title or something like that? I don't care. <laughs> Randy's <laughs> like, Yeah, I I got nothing bad to say mm-hmm. about Jeff. Mm-hmm. Oh, because he cost his him his match right. last week against right. Sheldon Benjamin. Yes, yes. And, and Jeff Jeff's was like, like, Whoa, whoa, that had nothing to do with Yeah, it was that little I forget what he Sing said. brother. Yeah. And whatever. I can't I think he called him a little weasel. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah, sure. Um <laughs> So the Miz is getting very frustrated with the lack of uh, confrontation mm-hmm. that he's been able to stir up. Yes. Um, at this point, Sheldon Benjamin comes out and he says, "Well, Orton doesn't deserve to have a title match because no. I beat him last week." And then he and comes then in, all, and we all knew what was coming next. Yeah. So as soon as Sheldon Benjamin gets into the ring, he gets kicked by Orton mm-hmm. and he hits him with the draping DDT, and then Jeff. Hits the twist of fate. Yeah, on I think. So. No, he hits him with the whisper. Whisper, and that's yeah. right, right, yeah, yeah. And because then you just saw Jeff and Randy just stand there. Yeah. And we went to commercial and came back and <gasps> tag match. Tag team match. This yep. is SmackDown specialty. Paige is definitely channeling her inner. Um, What's his name? Uh, come on, God. Teddy Long. <laughs> hey, thank you. There we go. <laughs> how the hell? She even said it like two she weeks did, ago. She did. Yes. Very funny. Well, yeah, they made reference to that. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, obviously, Jeff and uh, Randy win because they're the ones going into the uh, mm-hmm. into the pay-per-view match. Yep. Uh, I think Shelton takes the pin after a twist. Oh, oh yeah, because Orton hits the RKO yeah. on Shelton Benjamin. Mm-hmm. And, and takes then... Jeff in. Jeff hits Swanton. They're celebrating. And then Orton hits Jeff with an RKO. Yeah, so it was very, very kind of obvious stuff going on yeah yeah there wasn't much thought put behind this smackdown episode yeah um it so, was very filler heavy oh yeah so yeah. up next we have uh i guess probably the first of several interviews yeah going on there here. was a lot uh renee interviews the iconics mm-hmm. Peyton royce and billy k yep um they make fun of canadians yeah because um, billy k wanted uh peyton to do her impression of renee young yeah and then very offensive. Like, that's not Canadian. That's Minnesota or yeah. whatever the hell. No, she it said. was. Uh, yeah, she said it was Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then they're like, "You can go now." Yep. So they grab the microphone for her. She mm-hmm. leaves. Uh, then they welcome over Carmella. Yes. Uh, they say they're an unstoppable team because they took down Charlotte. And then, uh, or yeah, yeah, and then Oscar last week. Yeah, yeah. Closing her first loss in her first match on SmackDown. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and we get a video i guess from after the greatest royal rumble right yes it was a wwe.com thing yeah with we saw daniel bryan and how bad his chest looked from yeah, was, uh, roderick was, strong it was really bad um and then i guess we were told that he was not able to perform so he would not be at smackdown tonight Yeah, because he had a, a chest infection mm-hmm. or something like that they said I, yeah or there was a risk of a chest infection or something like yeah, that. yeah it was uh, it was bad oh so it, yeah certainly not well you gotta think believable. he probably hasn't taken anything like that in three years yeah. well that and the fact that just the way it looked it was it, it was, was pretty even... nasty oh yeah you just saw roderick's handprints all on his yeah. chest oh um, man so uh and then we have oh yeah the bar, bar running the new day in the backstage yeah. um the new day had their own pancake boy bring up pancakes camera booty something they had a, they had a name yeah. for the guy 
He brought uh, the pancakes, gave it to the bar. The bar threw him on the ground. Yeah, well, because they thought there was laxatives in Yes, him. that's right, yes, because they refused to eat him, and Big yeah. E was rubbing oil on himself at this point. Yeah, he also had oil with the pancakes. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. So, uh, Seamus is... Well, how about we have a match to welcome us? Yep. And then... <laughs> Big E gets in his face, yeah. and he's like, not with you, and then he looks at Kofi, and then he turns to Xavier and is like, with you, little man, or whatever he said. Yeah. But it's funny because Xavier is not much smaller than Big E. No, he's like not as like thick, mm-hmm. but like he's not short, not he's much not, shorter. He's not thick like Big E. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> thick like Big E. <laughs> oh, then I did not like this segment up next. Wait, well, you don't like the fact that they're gonna split up in English and Rusev? No, it's terrible. I know. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Lana. I don't, I, I just don't, I don't know. Well, like everything on Total Divas kind of killed it for me. Let's 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 just <laughs> and she take lost a, her accent too. It, yeah, it was certainly less defined. Yeah, let's let's take a step back. Okay, try breathe too. You can if you want. Okay. It's up to you. So, what if this is the difference between Rusev getting a push and Rusev not getting a push? That's Maybe a they're statement. being like serious when because. Lana comes over and she says something's holding you back. Yeah, right. Maybe they're being literal. Okay. So. Instead of like, because obviously it's all, all nonsense. But maybe this is the sign where okay, this is where they're actually going to do something with him. Mm-hmm. So if the, he's te- if they're pairing the two of them together, which is a natural fit because yeah. they've always been together. Right. And now. He's going to get a push as opposed to where he's with English. Well, it's great. It's, st- it's not doing anything. No, it's true. So if that's the difference, then I'm okay with it. It's true. So, But I don't know. I feel like they just work so well together. It's true. They, they most certainly do. And it's nice to have the ability to put him in tag team matches. That makes sense. I mean, what they, I mean, they could move him with Shinsuke in English as a mouthpiece. It would make sense, honestly. Well, now he's a heel, it certainly makes a lot of right, sense. because they were all together. They had that six-man tag, right, last week? Or is it just a tag match? It was Rusev and Shinsuke, right? Yes. AJ and Daniel Bryan. No, it was a six-man tag. It was a, I was think. List? I can't picture the other member, but it was Rusev Day. Oh, it was AJ and the club. Uh, that's right. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that would all make sense. Um, well, I, I guess that does make sense. I just feel like Maybe they... they're just trying to get English with Shinsuke. And not necessarily try to take him away for Rusev. I guess they that's just need true. Something for to Shinsuke. push, yeah. Because so. I, I just don't like that they just brought her back out of nowhere. Like I mean, she's not doing anything. Yeah, in it's true. Division, so yeah, I guess the whole thing with Tamina that fell through. <laughs> well, it's because like we Tamina all saw got that hurt. Happen. Yeah, no, I know. If it, if she didn't get hurt, they probably would have done something with I it. I guess it wouldn't have been good, but yeah, something. I guess so. Um. Anyway, so I guess in English and Rusev are going to split sometime soon. Uh, up next, we have Cass coming out. He basically says that he's going to destroy Daniel Bryan on this Sunday. This terrible. It was very bad. Uh, like, I don't know if he, if they're trying to make him like SmackDown's Roman Reigns or SmackDown's no. Jinder, or another Jinder Mahal. Yeah, that's, they're yeah. trying to be like the guy that everybody hates. Well, I just meant for, yeah, I guess. Uh, they don't want sense. people to hate Roman. Yeah. That's the difference. They don't do anything true. to make Roman... Or make Roman disliked. Yeah, no, I know. I, there was somewhere I was. I thought about last night, and it made sense. But now it doesn't when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he says, why wait till Sunday? I'll beat him up now. Dan Bryan's music hits. Oh, I guess I just meant forced. Like oh, the, okay. the whole, because they're kind of just, th- they threw Cass in such a big thing with Daniel Bryan, the top guy, you but know? In the his reasoning for wanting to oh, no, no, fight absolutely, Daniel Bryan yeah. all makes sense. And so he already got his licks in by throwing Daniel Bryan over the ropes of the greatest Royal Rumble. That, yeah. that, that was it. Yeah. That was the only thing that so. Cass. But yeah, no, this was a 1999 uh, oh, yeah. DX and uh-huh. uh, I, I could have sworn Vince Russo wrote this segment. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pretty uh, much. So... A, what's the proper way of putting it? Little person? Little person. I guess. Dressed up like Daniel Bryan with a very exaggerated beard. Mm-hmm. Um, so he comes out and he's doing the yes thing and he's, I guess he was Which a local talent. the crowd was doing it. No, but I think, I think it was a local yeah. talent. Because they was... did, he did say that local. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, so yeah. I guess they were trying to mm-hmm. 
I guess they were showing their appreciation and stuff. Here's thank you the fans, well, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, the thing that Impact did, when you go to Canada and you hire Canadian talent, it's a tax write-off. Okay. Yeah. Well, they didn't do that a lot, yeah. so yeah. it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh, what the hell was I going to say? Oh, I mean, what was the whole point of this segment? Was it to put more heat on Big Cass? Because he's going against Daniel Bryan. You don't need any heat. Uh, well, <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> Maybe they wanted to have a reaction between Daniel Bryan, but they it was legitimate that he no, really he wrestled in the Oh yeah, it's true. Mm. I don't know. I guess more heat I makes guess. no sense. He didn't uh. need it. No, but it, it it was just such a step down from last week for Cass. Oh yeah. Because it, it was good last week yeah. and then it was this was just like Yeah. So this but, it felt like gender, you know? That's yeah, what, a little bit, yeah. So yeah, basically what happened is he just beats up the mm-hmm. little person. Yep. It was uh, not good. And, uh, yeah. It was not. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, this was good, uh, I thought. Oh, uh, the, the AJ segment? segment. Yeah, because he came out and Renee interviewed him. I guess, uh, what was it? Something about a Shinsuke apology, right? Was yeah, that- Shinsuke was so upset about the fact that AJ got himself disqualified right. oh, yeah. by so, beating him so up. So he wanted he, an apology from AJ. He right? wanted a public apology mm-hmm. from AJ. So, you know, AJ said, I'm not going to right. apologize. So he calls Shinsuke out, and then we get Samoa Joe coming out. Yeah. And uh, he basically said that, you know. Well, first off, he talked about Roman being a loser and a failure and all this other stuff it, again. But that's that's why I'm kind of tired of Joe now, because he just keeps on repeating well, the I mean, same <laughs> stuff over and over. I know he hasn't got a chance to prove well, what the, he's saying. The feud makes no sense without a belt, yeah. you know? I mean, that it, it would have made a lot more sense had he. Reigns won the title, yeah. and then and then there's the possibility. Right. Obviously, it's not going to happen, yeah. but there's the possibility of him bringing the universal title to SmackDown right. and everything. Um, so, but yeah, then yeah, he basically said that once he's finished with Reigns, he's coming for AJ's title, which got a bunch of TNA chance. He was going, <laughs> he was going for the WWE title. He That's, didn't oh, care okay. who, right, who held it. Yeah, yeah. fair no enough. No matter, no matter who wins. Mm-hmm. Um. And, and, and then, then, yeah, and then at this point, Shinsuke's music hits. Yep. Joe, Joe turns around. He's ready to square off with yep. him. And then AJ comes through the I mean, uh, Shinsuke comes through the crowd. Yep. And they pan. AJ's, uh, Shinsuke's got his, I guess, his inside of his elbow firmly <laughs> in the crotch of AJ. Yeah. It's the most exaggerated, horrible, you know what the worst the business. You know what the worst part of this is? What? On Sunday... AJ's going to be wearing a cup. It's not going to work. That's it. Yeah, they've done that before, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, if I, not I, in I, WWE, WCW yeah, did it I, or that somebody sounds familiar. Like, I feel like that's just how it's going to... I mean, I could be wrong, completely yeah, wrong, but I yeah, feel like that's it, how it... Honestly, that's okay, though. I don't have a problem with that. No, it makes it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. That's it's not a bad story. No, but I mean, you figure it's like, all right, how many times are you gonna have to get hit in the <laughs> in the pulse before are, are you, you figure it out? Suggesting that he should have thought of this earlier. Yeah. Okay. I guess that I figured sense. they would have done that at the Greatest Royal Rumble, but since we're gonna get another match at Backlash, yeah. it makes more True. sense then. Yeah. Um, Which it made sense the way they ended it at. Yeah. So, but yeah. At this point, uh, AJ is shocked from the low blow. He gets hit with a Kinshasa. Well, yeah, first Shinsuke sets up on one side to the back of AJ's head. Yeah. Goes to the other side and then hits him. Yeah. Right, right. in the face. Yup. Yep. So, uh, Shinsuke ends the segment on top. Yes. All right, so... Um, uh, what do we have? Becky, Asuka, and Charlotte back... Well, it was Becky and Charlotte backstage, right? Well, it was it was Becky. Oh, it was and Becky. And then Asuka came over, and, and, and then, then Charlotte. Charlotte came over, and then... Uh, Asuka said, or they said something about them working all together, and yep. then Asuka was like, "Avengers, you know, or assemble." And then, yeah. yeah, it was pretty. Funny. It was pretty funny. Yeah, and it was good. It was good. Yeah, um, because the, they said they were a good team together because they they were going off of what Carmella and the Iconic said earlier about them being an unstoppable mm-hmm. team, and then they could easily dismantle them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yep. the three of them, you know, have good chemistry, obviously, because <laughs> Asuka. Even even though there's kind of a language barrier there, she just seems she seems to yeah, like it, fit in. This everything. felt so much better because Asuka wasn't screaming. She had Well actually, she was. She well was screaming. at first she was, but yeah. I mean she did have a point where she was just talking like normal yeah. and it felt yeah. a little better, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think well the thing is with Asuka, her her like input in conversation or input in terms of the promo stuff mm. 
it makes sense because she's feeding off of other right. people. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Whereas it's not Shinsuke's her coming out. A lot go- of a lot of kind of on his own, mm-hmm. which is kind of well, speaks to the. They found a way to get get past yeah, that. Yeah, if possible. Yeah, well, or if that's, that's what true. they're going yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. So, uh, but yeah, it was, it was a good a good little mm-hmm. segment. Um, and then we got Seamus versus Xavier. Yep. Um, so this is. What we're gonna do? What, what's it gonna be next week? So Cesaro versus Big E or it's, whatever. It's it's funny though because there was no Bludgeon Brothers. Yes, there was no, no Usos, Usos, no Naomi. Yep. So we took the tag team spot and focused on two teams that aren't in the tag divi- or tag team mm-hmm. title hunt. Yep. So that was a strange decision. It was weird. Yeah, the um, two people that had the title match at. Greatest Royal Rumble were not present on the card. There was no tag team title match. I, yeah, backlash. Oh, oh yeah, because this yeah. is just a tag, a tag team, team match. match. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, Very strange. But whatever. again, probably booked ourselves into uh, mm. ah crap. We don't know what to do here. Pretty much. SmackDown. We have too many teams. We haven't built anything. Because mm. I mean, it was just a rematch for the Usos. That was all it was. It, yeah. yeah. It was a rematch from WrestleMania. That was it. Um, so, and with this match, wasn't really anything special. It was, yeah. it was the big guy against the little guy. Pretty much. That was the story going mm-hmm. on here. Um, Cesaro, I think. Yeah, he was trying to get involved a couple times. Yeah. Uh, says Cesaro jumps on the apron. Oh, yeah. And then Biggie grabs him, mm. but, uh, he's not able to hit, he was going for the big ending, but he was unable to hit it. He knocks Biggie off to the side. Mm-hmm. jumps like or uh kofi like tries to jump off the stairs hit him with something he ducks mm-hmm. and xavier um, jumped through the ropes and kicked him right yeah, yeah. and at this point uh sheamus runs out of the ring grabs xavier throws him into the barrier throws him back into the ring goes probably goes for like the white noise or something bro like that kick, one of the two uh, yeah. well it couldn't have been going through the bro kick because he was holding him oh yeah, 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 that's yeah. Right, so yeah. he picks him up Xavier rolls rolls him uh, rolls them up into a pin mm-hmm. uh, and gets the win. So, all right, they're going with this. That was that. Yeah. I mean, you know, everything's gonna reset after backlash. Yeah. So. Uh, hopefully, that's what they're. This was. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so hard to really tell, not necessarily who was the winner or loser of the superstar shakeup, but I mean, we just had. Yeah, we a, couldn't possibly know right now. No, sure. no, it was just like, it seems like SmackDown. But who knows if they're going to be too congested now. Exactly. That. And you still have Sanity. and mm-hmm. Sanity didn't Almas show up. And... Almas hasn't shown up yet. No. Um, like you said, none of the other tag teams were, were on here. Nope. I mean, no Naomi. Who is... Daniel Bryan wasn't on the show. I mean, granted, he that segment been, was... Yeah. Um, with the big ass. Um, no, no Dillinger. No R-Truth. Uh, who, yeah. who could be another tag team. I think team. they had him on... Uh, a, wwe exclusive i'm sure interview yeah. yeah oh yeah put him and ty together yeah He's, that could be another tag team should have been on raw should, yeah i mean that's but, the thing like the bar really should have stayed on raw no they should have moved better teams okay they should have put the new day on should put the on usos in there. put them with roman that would Jesus work too yes Christ. i think we had suggested that already yeah. Yeah. a million times i just don't understand it's such an easy thing to do because it worked already that's the funny part but and it worked and the usos were it, garbage yeah it was it was before they changed their gimmick it's just I whatever mean, you could have just had roman getting beaten up by numerous people had them swap mm-hmm. to raw and that, that would have been it that was it yep. so easy and you could have just had roman be you know the third uso it's true. Like the same he gimmick as. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, the, he's not that far from them. No, but I mean, the just, only difference is that he doesn't tell the people he's going to lock them up. That's true. But he's only wearing SWAT gear, mm. so it's very easy to. It doesn't look like he's going to rob you, though. I guess that's true. <laughs> so, either way, it it's a mess. Just, All right. Whatever. So what happened next? Oh yeah, we got to see the reunion of Absolution. Yeah. Um, Mandy so. and Sonya were very excited to see Paige. Yep. And so, you got right this. there? I got you got this. that? All right. Trying to get it closer to the edge, and it was um, So, I think uh, Paige had said something about, or no, no, they said, which one of us are going to, are you going to pick? Yeah. And then Paige was like, Mandy. And she's like, okay, when do I get my title shot? And she's like, no, no, no. This is SmackDown Live. You earn it, or whatever, like this. And then yeah. Absolution was kind of like, I thought we were friends. Where's our special treatment? She's like, oh, okay. I guess that, that's that's that. And then uh, it was basically Paige made the match between 
uh, Mandy Rose and Becky Lynch next week. And then, was it after that we saw what happened? It was before. It was before that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. They showed a WWE.com exclusive, which is actually what I was asking you about, because I thought it happened on SmackDown, because I missed large portions of SmackDown last week. Oh. It was just the WWE.com thing. Yeah. Where, um... Yeah, it must... Uh, yeah. yeah, it happened after uh, SmackDown Absolution was making fun of Becky for getting pinned by the... Uh, I guess it was Peyton. Which is funny, because I could have sworn they were in South Africa. Africa last week because or two weeks ago or, oh yeah that, that was, was probably two yeah. weeks ago then yeah that was yeah it was two weeks because there was so. there was after the superstar shakeup had already been yeah that was effect. two weeks okay never mind that makes sense then yeah yeah so they were making fun of becky for getting pinned by peyton mm -hmm. um and becky was obviously not happy about it but yes. she was injured or something like that mm -hmm. um and then Paige makes the match between mandy and becky for next week yep not even at Back yeah, then. but I mean that that's it fine. Could, it could be, and maybe it is. No, no, they said they said. I know they should, did, but yeah. they could move it up. No, it, that would be dumb. I it think. would be. But um, you never but know. I mean that's what they should be doing. What? You should keep it flowing to the next SmackDown, so yeah. you don't you're not resetting everything. Yeah, I mean that's that's one thing that that they need to focus on if they're going to do the co-branded pay-per-views is you got to keep things that are going to end the solely on need SmackDown, to be on right? TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have the smaller feuds end on TV, but showcase them at least exactly but you know that's not gonna happen that's true yeah We're gonna have the same old stuff every single week same old poo poo yeah um up next we have an all miss phone, phone promo mm -hmm. basically zelena says that everybody wants to know when all miss is gonna show up on smackdown and he'll be there when he'll be there yep basically mm -hmm. um but yeah i'm imagining it's probably gonna be next week maybe the week after yes because like we said Hopefully, they'll reset everything after mm -hmm. Backlash. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Up next, we have... The main event that we talked about. <laughs> I. This might be the first time a women's match main evented SmackDown. No. They, they have the cage match that main evented. Becky and Alexa Bliss. Oh, okay. That's going way back. Yeah, I Too know. far back. That was the only reason, because it stuck out that in That was my back when because... SmackDown was good. Yeah. So... It, and it's not that SmackDown is bad now. It's just a weird time. Yeah, it's congested, like we said. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we actually spoke very in length about this match earlier. We in did. The, in the, we it was a did. long time ago at this point. It was, we yeah. Did. It was probably close to an hour ago. Uh, yeah. So, obviously, it's Charlotte, it Becky, Nasca versus Carmella and the Iconics. It was good. Uh, for what yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. The uh, crowd was, was into it. Yeah. Which was the only thing they were really into on SmackDown besides yeah. the... Uh, the Daniel Bryan uh, mini-me. Yeah. I guess. So, um, Asuka, obviously, is the hot commodity like mm -hmm. we discussed earlier. She ends up uh, getting Peyton to uh, tap out to the Asuka lock. Yes. Um, Charlotte and Becky didn't look too bad. Carmella looked like no, every, the cowardly think, heel. Yeah, but... The Iconics looked like they were trying to use their numbers to their advantage, mm. all that good stuff. So, yeah, all in all, it wasn't a bad match. No, um, and the yeah. show wasn't bad. It was just the this was a go home week to a pay per view yeah. after we had a network yeah, it special. Was, it was it just was a mess. Yeah, that's really it. So, so like I said, once everything the dust settles, we'll hopefully reset next week and yeah. kind of hopefully be back to a better uh, better shows. Yes, but yeah. So that was our WWE Week in Review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.